Welcome back to the Gullet Family Vlog. It's your boy CG the Genius. Back again with my sister, girlfriend, mother, <laughs> best friend. If you guys haven't seen part one of this video where my mom answered some questions, you could go back and check the, the link below or one of those little cards up in the top corner of the screen. So today my mom would be is go my mom is going to interview me. So I'm, I'll be the one answering some of the same or similar questions that she was asked in the, the previous video. So, how are you feeling? How did you like the last video? I mean, I am... <laughs> I was excited. I was like laughing like a little kid, but... I don't know if I was like nervous or whatever, but... I've never been in this role before, so it's kind of strange. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she... She has never been like in front of the camera, so it's like her first time actually sitting down like this. We do did vlogs before, but not like a talking head or interview style like this. But you're doing well so far, so go ahead and you can ask away with the questions. Well, 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 well. Here I am asked to do something that I've never done before, but I'm gonna try my best to. I asked all the questions and asked the right one and there are many questions that needs to be answered and I'm sure that a lot of things might be going through your head from time to time. What would, what would you, you do? You don't have to ask off the paper and if you have something else you can ask that as well. Uh, maybe you want me to stick to the point. And the no, topic. no, you can ask anything what you, what you want. What do you admire about your mom? So my mom, I always admire her like, she, she works really hard, but, but she's always trying to do what is best for her family. She's always very kind and helpful. I think she, she gives away like most of what she, she, she gains in life or makes just to ensure that everyone else is comfortable, even if it's not her own. But once she's asked, she's just, she just feel the need to give. And, and that's, that's, that's a, like a good attribute. Most persons will be like, oh, you have to, you have to save it, save it. If, if she had saved all that she had, she would have been much further, but maybe she, she wouldn't even be a half as at peace with, her, with herself. So, so that's one thing I always admire her kindness. So I guess it rubs off on me. I always try to help others. It makes me feel what good, just just to just to be able to help someone else, to put a smile on their face. In in turn, it gives you a good feeling if you know what I'm talking about. But I admire that she she's always get doing whatever she sets her goal to. She's a go getter. She. She knew that it was hard in Jamaica and the life that she wanted for us, she, she couldn't stay in Jamaica and provide it. So she did what she had to do, come in the snow, all sort of weather, cold weather. Yeah, she did it all. And she can be very proud of what her sons and daughter have achieved in life so far. Yeah, we have been growing up as good children. So, You're good boys. Yeah, so she should be proud, even though she she's saying that sometimes she, she she's not there to give us um like the mother they love, but our grandparents and aunts did really touch him, and she does return whenever she whenever she has time. So yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Sometimes those are so what would you those change? are all the plays. Those so are all the plays that you could you could have done with the cards that you had. So what would you That's change about your mother? My mother? Yeah. If you had to choose a mother, what would you? No, no. You 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 would be a per perfect, or almost perfect. Um. What would I change? Um. I would try to tweak our lesson or drive to work hard. Like she needs to actually enjoy or give her, like treat herself, enjoy herself before it's too late and she's not able to. That's one of my biggest fear that she's been working 
hard all this time and then she doesn't know when it might be the last time and she, she didn't really enjoy much of her time here in life other than, other than just working hard so sometimes enough money is just not enough you're always gonna want more so you just have to just make that leap of faith <clears throat> so what would you like to do with your mom my mom mm -hmm. Listen, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a family man. I like sitting down, eating popcorn. You're so much like your mother. You watching know you movie. You know that, that no, that's no, no, the no. first thing no. I told you when I came here, movie time. Chill. <laughs> you realize you answered the question the same way I answered that, my That's mom. what I'm saying. It's going to sound like a duplicate. Cause <laughs> no, I said my son. And you said this one. <laughs> because this, this is what I like. I like going out and like go in the backyard, play fun games everyone having a good time that's how i was growing up like we play ludo together i don't like when family is here someone's to be on the phone in the room and everybody's all disjointed like oh modern times are right now i like when every whenever it's family time and everybody family. come chipping and and just have a good time no negative energy no bad vibes so yeah that, that's that's all i want to have good time with my mom as I mentioned in the previous video where we went to the zoo, I, I want to do things like that with all my family. I wish my grandparents would brave up enough just to take the flight. <laughs> but, but my grandmother ain't coming nowhere and she just frustrated my father I'm that trying. he's not going to take. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm trying. But it's so funny that she would go get her passport. My dad has his passport, but yeah, I but send yeah. the money for them to get the visa and they were like, get cold feet. I'm not going anywhere. My dad is too said they live old. long already. He's too old for that. My mom, I'm not going on no plane. I don't know. I wouldn't want them to enjoy the blessing because I consider this is a blessing because my mom is a praying mother and she's always praying for blessings. And that's one thing I can't understand. You pray for blessings and when it comes, you don't want to enjoy it. I don't see that side of the story, but that's their side of the story. Mm -hmm. So what memory do you have of your mom that makes you really happy? Memory of my mom? Yeah. Well, I just like like the the look on her face on her face and the vibe that she gives off when I make her proud. Like Ever since I knew myself, I've always been making her proud. Coming up from basic school, going to like prep school by myself in the town area, taking bus by myself. Um, you know, went to I primary look, school. I look back at that and I'm thinking, I couldn't do that now because you were just five years old taking public transportation, like half, it was like half an hour drive from. Sometimes more depending on your traffic road and traffic. stuff. And but but she, she believed in me and I had the brave heart and I just feel like once I envision it in my mind I just know that I can do it and I just move forward and every time I achieve it makes her proud and she knows that like her hard I, work is paying off. Like when I told you the other day that I achieved my house at 28 and you have two more years to do it but you did it before me. Proud of you, bravo. <laughs> 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 you did it yes. before me so that's good. But there's one thing that I will talk about all the time yeah. is watching you and those children. Oh, those my two children. little rugrats that you have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh those my are my rugrats. CG the and genius, me. Junior and Layla Beer the Queen, man. I love them. They're they're they're, they're bittersweet. Very smart. <laughs> She should be here saying her ABC. Like she knows our ABC already and know to come from one to ten. She knows every letter without even she's not even I just like how they're they they they, they have the, the gift just to catch on to things and they're they're very curious and inquisitive. And kids who are normally like that, they, they tend to learn fast. You just wanna ensure that there's not a lot of safety hazards because with that being that they're inquisitive, they could hurt themselves, hurt themselves endanger themselves. So that, 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 that's, that's something that we have to look out for. But in all your upbringing, I want to give God 
thanks most of all to my mom. Yeah, <laughs> she, mom she, my mom and my dad, they have been there for you all through. It's like, yeah, Papa Smurf. They're more to you as a parent than I was to you because my mom's so miserable anyway. But you, you, you mm. lived through it. She didn't kill your ass. Just like for miserable too. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, they love you so much, they will give the very last for you to be happy. Especially my dad, he will take you everywhere. Yeah, we always go to trips and everywhere I'll watch Gampa like, running races when he was like, what, seven, seventh year, sixth or seven? That's one thing I can... Gampa running against the young boys and coming in like good position. You know? Yeah, and, I, and he runs so fast. I mean, I emulate my dad and I Gampa see, is much very of, humble. see so much of myself and my dad. And I, I just love them very much. I love my parents. My mom, I love her more for her prayerful self, because in everything, you never know what's out there. We're just so I'm just grateful of her prayers. And I was always a workaholic, so I was always out there. So even when you were sick, I would come home at night. She would rub you down. Yeah, grandma is the remedy. Remedy Queen. She yeah. would make sure you're okay. She makes, she ensures that we're our she, immune system. Strong. Real she get strong. up in the middle of the night. She would watch over you. She'd be praying for you all. And make sure you say your prayers in the morning. As a boy, did you read your Bible this morning? Yes, yes, <laughs> She'd yes. She'd be like, did you say your prayers? But you know what? She's, she molds you in, in more ways than once. Maybe that's why you're so miserable like her. But Grandma is disciplined too. You know? She's disciplined. Because... To, to get up every early in the morning on Sunday to get sure everything is ready. Because remember, she, she wakes up real early you know, on the Sunday morning. I tell get you, stuff. there's something about my mom that I never want to understand growing up. But then she she will be sick Monday to, Monday to Saturday. And Sunday morning, she's ready. She's going to church. And um, she, she, she's a giver. She, 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 she's a very tough cookie. She and my dad, they both born, were born the same month, but they're two different persons now. Yeah, one is humble and... One so is water and one is fire. My that's, mom that's is fire. That's how it goes. If it were like terms, they would have repelled like magnet. <laughs> yeah, so... So, so that's mean, what happened. Yeah, and you know, I just give thanks for that. And in everything, I would say, WWJD, what would Jesus do in a situation like this? And then I just... <laughs> you you and those WWW. <laughs> double, double, double. <laughs> double, double, so, JD. Peace. Yeah. You see, you have some good time talking, get, getting some memories, right? Feels good, right? Yeah, I mean... She was so Gigi, like, what is he going to ask me when I, I told her that we had some like, video? I think geez. I was going to ask her some foolishness. Because I don't think, I, I, I realize that I don't think. I just go about doing things. It's not like I plan things. I know that I have to... I find myself coming to America and I didn't even know where I was going. I didn't plan to come to America. I came to America through my job in Jamaica. I came here for six months. I'm here how much years? No, I never thought about staying here. I've been to Michigan, Colorado, Vermont. Now I'm in Massachusetts. I don't know where on the map those things are. I just go. <laughs> Yeah, you always put God first, and that's why He leads and guides you. Yeah, and the funniest thing, I don't know anybody in those places. Yeah, and, you, and you've been safe all this time, right? Always keeps providing. You know, I was like, I remember once I was in Nant on, on Nantucket Island, and it's like, I used to work from like one o'clock at night, and it's like, when I look at the Uber fare, I wasn't driving then. And I look at the Uber fare, it just keep going up because in the summer, those fares are crazy. It would be like $30 for a five minutes drive. And I'll say, hell no, I'm not doing that. I'm Watch me walking with my big bad angels behind me. And I walk all the way that night, straight downtown. <laughs> he said, he, what? He said he weren't paying no $30 to no, walk. I'm not paying no $30 to walk. <laughs> and I said, watch me oh, and my big yeah. bad angel. And I walk all the way home. I wish it took me like 25 minutes to walk home, but I ain't gonna pay no $30 for no taxi. And it was gonna go up further because at that time, it's a tourist era, so all those tourists will pay like $50, no matter how much they charge them, because they wanna go home on the club just cruise. But Angela, I ain't gonna pay that. 
So that you, you have any other questions for me? Well, there's so much. Yeah, you, you see, you took over the video, it, it turned into your interview again. <laughs> I love you too. Well, viewers, well, just remember if you like what we're doing, just remember to give us a like, share it out. Remember to subscribe if you haven't as yet. So I just felt like I, I wanted to do this video. It's a really good bond to speak with my mother. Well, my only biological parent alive right now. So we have to share these good memories before we can't anymore. As I asked you today, I wish he was here to see you because I know he'd be very proud of you. He was proud of you. I, I can tell you that. He was very proud of you. He would tell everybody this is my son mm -hmm. because you were going to Monroe College and everybody would know you as his son going to Monroe College. And he was mm -hmm. very proud of you. And even to the very end, he was... You, I mean, he taught you to drive, I think. That's what you were telling me today. You're changing gears. No, we normally drive together. <laughs> yeah. So that he, he, had a, he was saying that once I reach like 16, he give me a lot of things, give me my own car, but he I, would. Guess, I guess that wasn't a Didn't part of God's you. plan. So sometimes yeah. you can't do plan. You just have to take it a step at a time, right? I don't think God, I don't think it was in God's will for him yeah. to pass. I think he was just not careful Listen, enough. Listen, God don't make no mistake. And sometimes so, 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 so it, that, that I don't think God has anything to do with him not thinking that he should take care of his health. Well, 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 listen to me. You're going back on what you believe in. You're going back on your faith. But that is for another conversation. Because whatever happens, God already knew it was going to happen. So that's destiny. And that's how I see it. But until next time, this is your boy CG the Genius. CG the Genius, <laughs> greatness mama right here. <laughs> Remember, like, share, comment, and subscribe. We are nothing but greatness. Peace out. <laughs>